All right, guys, we're back again with another episode from Cuisine TV, where we quiz the cuisine. <laughs> <laughs> you thought I didn't know, innit? Of course I don't. I thought you'd miss your cue there. I nah, of course I don't. Sack you. Of course I don't. Find someone else. Sack me. Anyway, we're back with a bang, guys. We're back with another episode of our cuisine with friends series, and I am super excited about this one. So am I. So am I. Listen, I'm telling you, this guy that we have, class. He just class. He's just class. He just class. He's, he's, he's just class. He's probably the best dressed male, or just best dressed person. I think I've ever laid eyes on. Basically you will never, ever catch him slipping. Never. Basically this brother never. right here. So tell him who we got then. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting to you. <laughs> Mr. Zach of Velsoir. Sound the klaxon. Oh, all right, so before we do anything, talk, even talk anything food related, I want to know, how do you endure this heat wearing a suit, my brother? I self-regulate, baby. <laughs> <laughs> I'm used to this a way of life, you know. A suit is a way of life. We were just saying, actually, before you got in that, I don't think I've ever seen you not wear a suit, even yeah. before, even when we go football. Anyway, anyway, Zach, thank you so much for, for joining us today with Cuisine with Friends. This is I'm excited madness. to be here. So as is customary, Zach, hmm. uh, when we're in the car, before we set off, we ask three questions uh, of right. our great guests. The first one, I hope you don't mind me asking you uh, off the back, is go, go. what is your favourite cuisine? My favourite cuisine? Oh, that's a tough one. You know what? It's a, it's a toss up between Lebanese or Japanese. Okay! They Even quite, though it just ends in East. Yeah, opposite it ends, <laughs> but East. you know what? Yeah, I think I'll end up going Lebanese just because more rice dishes, maybe? Okay. And I love I'm rice. Big fan. Rice big fan rice. Uh, Lebanese, yeah. I remember spending time in Beirut and I, every day I just wasn't fed up of having Lebanese food and it was just a culinary journey and experience that, I've, that I loved and yeah, I think you can't go wrong. No, I'm a, yeah, I'm a big so fan, big fan Lebanon. of Lebanese, Lebanese food. Have you been to Lebanon? I've been to Lebanon. Cuisine yeah. Lebanon series. Oh, yeah, what you what was your right? favourite? The uh, bulls? Sheep's balls. Testicles. Yeah, yeah. Of course yeah, it would be. Yeah, yeah. yeah of course. Yeah, yeah. Of course <laughs> it would. Sounds about right. Yeah. Of course. Speaking of sheep balls, um, <laughs> <laughs> What's your worst cuisine? What would be your oh, no not worst, worst. your least least, least favorite? favorite. Yeah, uh, least that's favorite. a tricky one. I mean, I'm not a big fan of say pub grub or British food in general. Apart from, <laughs> I have to say, I know a lot of people are on the fence, but a roast dinner is up there mm. with like top five for me. And I know like I know Naeem doesn't rate roasts that well, but apart from those two fish and chips and um, having a Sunday roast, yeah, I don't rate it as highly like. You're not the first one to have mentioned yeah. that. You know, I've tried it all. I've tried the, you know, gone to the East London Cafe and tried, you know, pine mash and liquor mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and eel, but it just, yeah, it doesn't hit for me. Fair, Fair enough. enough. Fair enough. <sighs> Why are you breathing so heavy? Because I'm struggling right now. The drip now. is real. So, <laughs> mate, the drip the is drip real. Bit, but, uh, is different real. type of drip up front, yeah. I think. <laughs> the drip at the back and the drip at the front are completely different. Completely okay. different. Some sort of drip anyway. <laughs> Look, last question I've got to ask you is, mm -hmm. if you were on death row, we hope you never will be in that never. position. I mean, you'd be dressed well. I'll be in a yeah. suit, hopefully. Oh, an yeah. orange yeah. suit, maybe. Yeah. 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 Orange yeah. suit. You'd fully make that look good. Shops, you might make the exec yeah. execution, I think, twice before they uh, take you out. But look, I want to <laughs> ask, what, what is yeah. that last meal that you would have if you were ever in that scenario? Do you know what? It has to be a biryani, man. A lamb okay. biryani. A lamb biryani with yeah. all the trimmings. Going out with a bang? Yeah, yeah, I think what brings you most comfort is, yeah, for me, it would be a lamb biryani with all the trimmings to accompany it. Love it. Fair love enough. it. Fair Absolutely enough. love it. I can't yeah. argue with that. We should really get a move on and yeah, go grab our food. Today excited. we're going to be trying Malaysian slash Singaporean cuisine, Come on. which is going to be good, which is going to be good from our very good friends at Rasa Siang, uh, who will yes. be providing the food. Uh, we cannot wait. Um, before we melt into something, Oblivion. Yeah, exactly. Mm. Let's uh, get a move on. Let's, let's grab our, our food. Bags. Let's get on our bags. I'm in my mum's car. That's right. That's right. <laughs> All right, guys. Hey. <laughs> We're back. Cheers. 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 Welcome to the uh, studio, Zach. Welcome to the studio. Look at right. eyes, look at eyes. <laughs> get a drink. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. Look, so we said we're going to bang some Malaysian slash Singaporean food now. But before we do anything, mm -hmm. I was just 
I was telling Naeem about how great my swag is, and I thought, yeah, since we've got an expert in the house now, you might as well tell him on my behalf. Okay, how great you look. Yeah, yeah. just like, you know, you know, obviously how, you know, what's the, what's the best, you know, what's, what's the... Well, I don't know how plan. to put this lightly, but... Mm. I mean, look, this is uniform, <clears throat> but like, you see me on a day out, you know, Saturday night out, Friday I mean, night out. I've avoided you on the <laughs> <laughs> you want to do, 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 do you know, but... Maybe let's just cut this bit. Yeah, let's yeah, just, yeah. Let's just cut this bit. Yeah, let's, that's not how I was expecting that to go. How can you say such a thing? <laughs> Moving on to the food. Mm. Um, so, Zach, like uh, Martin mentioned, we've got uh, Malaysian slash Singaporean cuisine. Amazing. Um, we are very, very excited. Martin, you did the honours of, of collecting the food. You want to run, I did, run I us did. through what, what we've got we, in front of us? We've just got a mix, a proper array. We've got a couple of starters, a couple of mains, and we've actually got your dessert, which is something that we haven't done. We haven't. With your analysis, because you know you're a, you're a sweet guy, so we thought we'll, Can I say I'm a sweet we'll cater to that sweet tooth. <laughs> exactly, sweetheart. Um, so look, we're gonna go. We're gonna fly through it. We're gonna begin with um, the roti canai, which is the starter, um, and this is actually um, a great dish because they say it originates uh, from South uh, India. Mm -hmm. So there's a lot of South Asian migrants in Singapore slash Malaysia. Uh, that part of the world is a concoction of, of loads of different. Uh, cultures and loads of different people. Mm -hmm. So this is basically one of those great South Asian tasting things that have been adapted and sure. taken to a whole new level mm -hmm. uh, by the Singaporeans, by the Malaysians. Take a take a bite. Martin, do you want some? Of course, I want some. Yeah. I mean, I, I, should, I shouldn't have even asked. Uh, go on. Have no, a done. Not one. Have, mm. oh, have, yeah. have a done. Have a done. Have a done. Look at that. Oh. Have a done. My turn. My turn. That's oh, beautiful. Man. I could eat that all day. Mm. Oh my god. I can have that for breakfast, lunch, and it done. Oh my god. That is actually could, so good. I could squeeze it in probably yeah. a fourth or fifth time as well. Yeah, midnight meal. So look, whilst you enjoy that, yeah. there's one question I've got to ask you. Sure. Um, and that is effectively about the industry you're in. You have been a fashion designer, creator of clothing, you've you know been a part of a lot of fashion shows. Tell me what kind of inspired you to go into that industry. Well, it actually all started about seven, eight years ago when we accidentally recreated a bow tie. As fun as it sounds, like eight, nine years ago, menswear as an industry was almost non-existent. You had high street, so like top man, top shop. Then you had um, your luxury, so like your department stores like Selfridges, Harrods, and then you had Bespoke, which was Savile Row, but you had nothing in between. And so eight years ago, simple as it sounds, I couldn't find a black velvet bow tie. Wow. This was, I was looking for one for my older brother's wedding, um, couldn't find one, decided why not make one ourselves basically. So my mother actually made the first one, Amazing. so got a great response from people going when we were out and about and thought why not create a small collection of 50 pieces um, and then we launched in London and Dubai and sold out a collection within six weeks. So wow. it was kind of crazy, we're like, okay, everyone that felt the frustration we had, everyone else felt, but this was at the early stages of having, you know, bespoke handmade accessories in London. So it kind of was, yeah, it gave us that drive to just carry on. And then from there, we've sort of man maneuvered into the full menswear tailored wardrobe. So um, yeah, it's been beautiful. We've been able to travel a lot. We showed in Beirut, in across the Middle East, and then in Singapore and in London. So yeah, it's been a great journey so far and culminated in me being here today. <laughs> this is the pinnacle. This, this is, is the pinnacle. This basically, is, pinnacle. Yeah, this, this, is this, where, is, this is the peak of your career. This is how you know you made it. This is why I'm here. This is how you know how you made it or when yeah. you made it. Should we move on to the next uh, next it. dish? Oh, what should we go for? You tell me. I've got to go for the wonton next. Let's go for the wonton then. Let's go for the wonton. Bit of the old wonton soup. Obviously, we spoke earlier about the concoction of different people in in these areas in Singapore and Malaysia. Mm -hmm. This is very much Chinese uh, from the you know huge levels of migration that took place from China to Singapore, Malaysia. Mm -hmm. Along along with those migrants came the incredible Thank wonton you, soup, sir. which is a which is a nice starter and it's effectively dumpling soup. Mm -hmm. Which is Martin's favourite dumpling soup. Dumpling or soup. dumpling, you just love dumpling. Cheers guys. Che oh, oh cheers. 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 <laughs> Maybe spoon out spoon out the dumpling and then <laughs> Oh, 
Well, that was a lot messier than I thought. Yeah, I was watching it. You've got exercise caution when you're eating as well. That was a lot messier than I thought. I'm gonna... Wow, that's really nice. That is very good. Mm. The flavours are beautiful. It's really light. Mm. Yeah. It's kind of got that. Mm. I've, I've got, got the one, kind of saltiness. I've got yeah. one ton all over me, if that even makes sense. <laughs> well done. Mm. Well done. <laughs> Sorry. You gotta love the mix, you know. You, we've literally just gone from South India to China. To China. We have two bites, and that's effectively what makes this cuisine so amazing and one of my favourites. I think it's very light. It's a brothiness of yeah, it. Well. It's not like heavy. It's very yeah. The the texture of the dumpling is very nice as well. Yeah. Um, that again is very easy to eat. Like you could eat that yeah. anytime. Yeah. To be yeah, honest, yeah. Uh, it goes down a treat anytime. It's refreshing it. almost. On to the next question, Zach. Look. Yeah. We're talking about food, we're here to eat food. Mm -hmm. What we want to know is what do you fashionistas and what do you in the fashion industry eat? Is it just kale just and, kale and quinoa, quinoa and salad? What do you eat? Like what, you know, what? I mean, a stereotype would be coffee and cigarettes, right? Not, <laughs> yeah. Not even any food to be honest. Yeah. So, um, no, the industry's moved a lot from not eating much, more of a balanced diet. I suppose because times have changed, people are more cautious about what they eat yeah, and yeah. you know as education has improved as well people are more open to eating more nutritious and healthy meals because again it will reflect on how you look mm. not just on the runway or in a photo shoot but how you feel as a person right so um, that's very important um, in terms of inclusivity and diversity you can have all different types of body body shapes and yeah, sizes yeah. right now which is that's right martin isn't it? yeah so still hard for me yeah, yeah i mean yeah me. i'm gonna give you a cool data <laughs> don't, get don't, 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 don't get his hopes up don't get his hopes up Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Let's move on. Let's, Let's move on. We've got a lot of food to get through. Mm. Um, as you know, the Cuisine Boys love to experiment with food, not just with cuisines itself, but mm -hmm. maybe subset of, of the cuisine. There's de definitely going to be plates and, and, and dishes and you know, various different recipes that we, we want to try. And this, I feel like, fits into that mold quite, quite well. Um, the next thing that we're going to try is stingray. This isn't us trying to, trying stitch, to you up. <laughs> stitch you up or, uh, or you know, throw any spanners in the works. Uh, we actually got this sing string stingray because we tried it when we went to Rasa Sayyad That's right. um, uh, all those months ago. And we actually thought, do you know what? This was not bad. It's something definitely worth trying. Mm. It's definitely a different kind of fish, different texture. Sure. Uh, but it's cooked in a very kind of Malaysian slash Singaporean way. It's yeah. smothered in sambal, which is obviously oh, love it. The I could smell it from ult ultimate it. sauce. Effectively, there's almost fermented fish in there, fermented mm, prawns. seafood, prawns that kind of mm. innards on a prawn shell and all. Um, thank you for <laughs> destroying. I literally it. decimated it. He sauced up the fork. Uh oh. That's literally the biggest crime. How am I meant to hold it? No, I mean, it's, it's I mean, he's going to use his hands anyway, right? Just yeah. use a tip. So yeah, this this is why we thought, you know what, we've got to bring uh, Zach in on the stingray. So, uh, I've, got a, I've got a confession to make. Oh. The last time I saw a stingray, it was a bow tie. What whoa, the whoa, hell? Whoa, what whoa, the whoa, hell? Whoa, 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 hold well, on. Wait, wait, so I want to know more about Expand. that. Tell Expand. Us, tell us, tell us. So actually, we use a lot of unusual materials because we design a bow tie. There's only so many velvet or yeah. cotton or wool bow ties we can make. So we've made a lot of wonderful and weird textures out of our bow ties so one of them we've got a responsible responsibly sourced stingray skin the back end of it is soft the front of it i mean is very yeah bumpy almost it looks like caviar so it wow. looks very exotic and striking and expensive and it's very expensive, expensive. And expensive. Yeah. so not only are you wearing it you might you might be trying oh, it now let's uh yeah. should we give this a little yeah, let's, let's little taste of this or what <clears throat> That's very good. Very yeah. good. Yeah, very, very good. good. 
It's the bell's a lot stronger than the taste, yeah. I think that is the sambal as well, yeah. and the, like the... Because I don't know if the stingray actually smells. Mm -hmm. I think it's just the masalas and spices yeah. and, and, and all of that paste sauce that they use. Mm. Um, I think that's the smell. But actually, mm. I mean, I enjoyed it when we tried it last time. Yeah, I loved and it. this Still is very it. nice. But it's brilliant, regardless. Super nice. Yeah, the flesh, very well seasoned. Mm. You can't go wrong with sambal. We should have actually it compliments it super well. We should have actually given him a knife. Look at look at the gentleman eating in, in a three piece <laughs> suit with a spoon. But this is how you eat in, uh, in Asia, right? This is how you do it. Yeah, actually, they just do it in Asia, in Thailand, Singapore, Malaysia. What do I know? What do I know? Fork and spoon. What the hell do I know? Yeah. yeah, um, yeah. Now I'm glad you're enjoying it. Glad you're enjoying it. Should we move on to the next question, Zach? Tell us. So you told us your relationship uh, with Valsois, which is your your company or your family's kind of menswear, luxury menswear brand. Yeah. Um, talk to us about your relationship with food. food yeah, great. I think uh, most, like most people, everyone says their mothers were the best chefs around. My mum used to actually cook for a lot of weddings as well. Oh, really? So really? She was, yeah, a, a lot. So she was up there? She was, yeah, up there. So I was kind of spoiled um, growing up with amazing food to the point where if I ate at someone else's house, it, would, it wouldn't feel as, <laughs> as good. Is everyone listening? Yeah, so, it, you know, you've got yeah, high, you high, of, high expectations. If you're one of Zach's friends, <laughs> you're the people that fed him. <laughs> put the blood, sweat and Just tears remember, into the, the just remember what you he said here. He didn't live. I mean. So since the last dish is going to be a dessert, we've got to mm -hmm. move on to the mee goreng now. Now yeah. this, again, proper Malaysian slash Singaporean bad boy. Uh, it's, uh, it's obviously noodles, not rice in this case. I know you love <laughs> rice, but you're going to have to stick with the noodles this time. No, I love and effectively, noodles. these are egg noodles. They're wok fried. You've got a sweet and sour tomato sauce. Uh, and then it's just a whole selection of different seafood. So you've got prawns, you've got squid, you've got fish cake. Uh, you've got some <laughs> eggs. It's not going well. It's not going well. This is not going well. Wait, let me help you out. It's not going well. <laughs> mayday, mayday. This is not going well. <laughs> Let's give it a go. Meager in time. Mm. Oh man, how good is that? That's very right. It's delicious. Mm. One thing about Malaysian food is always well seasoned and flavoured. So Even well flavoured. Even from starters <clears throat> to now the mains, everything's very well flavoured. Yeah. 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 Well, it's, not, it's oozing throughout the whole dish rather than just slopped on top for example. It's like yeah. cooked with love. Look, Zach, like, I wanted to ask you. Yes. You're obviously a foodie, you've tried loads of different foods, you're very well travelled. A lot of the time you said your travel is defined by the food that you eat. So mm. you're very similar to us in that context. Mm. Yeah. So tell me what is the craziest thing that you'd say you've tried? The craziest? Craziest. Thing. And you need to really impress us here. I think I've tried, but I think I've blocked it out of my memory. But <laughs> I've tried shark fin, I think. Shark fin? Yeah. Oh, is that good? Is that bad? Is that? It was. I had a little it's shark fin soup. So it was. It was. This was a many a good many years ago. So I've kind of. Where did you have that? In Asia, in uh, Singapore, actually. Oh wow! Yeah, wow. So it was. Um, was talk to us like? about the flavors. I want to know about this. Like? It's I want to know sour. about this. Uh, what I remember is very sour, and I didn't very much like it. But I tried it, and I thought, let me Never give it again. a go. But it was yeah. Yeah, I wouldn't, I wouldn't recommend it, to be honest. Fair enough, fair enough. So look, I think it's time for our dessert now. This bad boy, mm -hmm. let me make sure I pronounce it correctly. It's this is called too. the Sago Gula Malaka. Malaka. Your what? Yeah. Malaka. <laughs> Malaka. Malaka. Malaka? Malaka. Don't say that to a Greek person. <laughs> Apparently that means something bad in Greek. So sorry to all our Greek viewers right now. But um, this is a chilled pudding. <laughs> With palm sugar syrup oh, and okay. coconut cream. That sounds delicious. And uh, those little balls are called sago. Okay, amazing. It looks like caviar. Yeah, it looks. Looks a bit like caviar, doesn't it? It does. But right, I'm gonna great. let our guest have the first bite. It's all like a soft jelly texture yeah. to it. Almost like a. I don't know. Yeah, wow, that looks jelly. really straight. Like jelly, right? Yeah, but it's I like don't... caviar, like or fish yeah, eggs. Yeah, fish eggs. Yeah. Fish eggs, I mean, yeah, caviar, fish eggs. Well, like... I feel like I've tried this in Bangladesh somewhere. I don't know. I mean, I won't be surprised. I don't know. Similar ingredients. Mm. Wow. 
I'm, I'm, I'm... The coconut and palm sugar really comes through nicely. Okay, okay. okay. okay my it's turn. amazing. Okay, my turn. Is it good? Yeah, and then they're like small... Uh, it's like Beats. boba, but smaller. Like small Whoa. boba, basically. Interesting. Oh. But they, don't, they feel a bit strange as soon as you taste it, but after a while, the, the palm sugar and the coconut really hits in, and it, it brings it together super... I could drink that syrup for like wow. on its own. Is that good? Is it? Oh, I love the texture. Yeah. Spongy. Right? That's really good. It's amazing. That's really good. I've never good. had this before. It's mm. beautiful. That's really good. Oh, you got a really good one here. Yeah. Oh. That you mm. could drink that syrup. Yeah, yeah. That is so good. You need to nice. bring that back here, though. Yeah, you get that back on that side. Because that is a man with a sweet tooth. Going to round two. Zach, we have one final question for you, at least. With regards to cuisines in the future, yeah. is there anything that doesn't have to be a video that we've covered, but is there any other cuisine that you feel like, okay, do you know what? I'd love to try that in the future that you want to explore, yeah? Do you know what? I've tried for the first time only one dish from this cuisine and that was uh, Nepalese food. Okay. And I tried momos from it and I absolutely loved it. So that's something I would definitely want to explore further. There's not very many Nepalese restaurants in London, so... Yeah, I think that would be my next stage. Maybe we could do it together. I don't Maybe. Know. Maybe. Well, we've got a great recommendation. Yeah, right? we Kailash have a very Momo. Good. Kailash Momo in Greenwich. In Greenwich. Greenwich. We went yeah. there. Such a good restaurant. Nepalese slash Tibetan food. Amazing. Brilliant. Such good. Brilliant. Well, I'm definitely going to check it out because you've chosen... If not, we'll come with you. I'll, yeah, I'll go with you. I'll go with you. I'll go with you. I'll definitely recommend, recommend that. Yeah, 100%. Mm. 100%. Right. All right. Well, I think it's time to uh, maybe... They cheers for the, for the for the great for the great meal. Zach, talk to me. It's how's been... your how's your um, not experience? You know, like I, had, I had very low expectations coming. I'm checking. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> Wait, that caught me. That caught me off guard. That caught me fully off guard. I nearly had a whole palpitations from it. Uh, I had, no, I had good expectations, but I think you surpassed those expectations. I think the food, every single dish, another win for cuisine. Another win for cuisine. Solid. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Is there any of the items? That you you felt like, do you know what? Of the five that you had were were top notch. What was your favourite? What did you say? You know what? The dessert caught me by surprise. Yeah. I think that the was a wild card. Yeah. Sago? Is that what sago, sago was a bit sagging, wasn't it? It wasn't sagging. Sagging is the opposite. No? Complete opposite of sagging. <laughs> opposite of sagging rather. <laughs> Complete opposite yeah. of sagging. The the true test is: would you have it again? A hundred percent. Yes, so. I would have it again. Fair enough. Yeah. yeah. Dessert was the best one. Yeah. Dessert was the best, yeah. Well, that brings me on to the, the next question, which right. is your least, least, like, least favourite of this, of this spread. It's probably going to be hard, I think. This is hard yeah. because I think every dish was had its own good points. Not even good points. Every dish was solid Yeah. in terms of flavour. Probably least likely, probably the stingray. Okay. Oh, okay. Um, okay. Just because, yeah, it was a wild card. But in saying that, I would probably, I would order it again. So it's not like a, I would never have it again or I really disliked it. It was just the texture maybe it was not as, it's different to fish. other types of fish, right? So I prefer my fish more soft and like flaky, yeah, whereas this yeah, is more enough. stringy and a bit, uh, a bit tougher. All right. So overall, what would you give our or your Malaysian slash Singaporean experience out of 10? That's the key question. I'll give it a solid eight. eight okay. Yeah, eight. I'm maybe eight and a half with the dessert, just because it was... Yeah, bumped it up a little bit. A little bit, yeah. The dessert was just bumped it up slightly. But yeah, I couldn't fault any dish, right? Look, man, it's been an absolute pleasure having you. We've Thank really, you. really enjoyed this. We really good have. food, good company. Just as it should be. Yeah. Just as it should be, yeah. yeah. So um, thank you for watching our video. Listen, if you liked... Oh, wait, 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 wait. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and smash that thumbs up button. Come on, guys. Come on. Come on, smash. Yeah. Yeah. On that note, <laughs> bye. bye.